So is it one plus two? Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna click, click on the psycho murderer thing that I has all the red lines. Yeah, that's what I did. There's uh, you have two I have different a picture on it. Is it of a body with a whole bunch of X's all over it? No. No. It's a child doll missing an arm. Oh. A square doll missing an arm. A red <laughs> pajama thing missing a head. And a dog plushie missing a leg. Uh, how many are missing legs? One. Okay, never mind then. One um, leg, I two ha- arms, and a head. I have a photo of a forensic like list, like it's an outline of a body, mm-hmm. and then it has X's on the forearms, X's on the stomach, chest, head, and calves. Ew. So what does that mean? Like that's. Maybe something of yours. Okay, what shape was the head? There is... What do you mean? Uh, Like, what shape doll lost its head? I wouldn't even call it a doll. It's like a red... It's like a red pajamas that are, like, really scraggly on the ends of each opening for limbs. And then there's fur. It's like red fur. Uh, like it looks like something out of Doctor Seuss. The... I'm just gonna I'm gonna circle uh, what your dolls don't have on this um, little outline. So, starting from left to right, the dog is missing. It's staring at it. It's the right leg. But if you were like facing the same direction, it'd be the left leg. I think it's just staring at it. So I'm gonna circle the right leg. And then the doll is missing its head next to it. Circling the head. And then the next doll is missing its left arm. Left arm. Well, it's like, yeah, most of the left arm. And then the final doll made out of cardboard is missing its right arm. Okay, so it's... It's right leg, head, left arm, right arm. Okay. So the only ones that aren't crossed out for me are the left leg, the stomach, and the chest. We'll get to that later, probably. Um, I also have a cassette player with one, two, three, four, five cassettes and a pencil. Mine has four and a pencil. What are yours named? Doubles, Explosives, Interview 060695, or 0606 1995 and the police report. Mine are completely different. Mm. Mine are Krakow, The End, 0606 1995, Family, Walkie Talkies, and Identity. I'm gonna play my first one, Doubles. Okay. I'm gonna play my first one, Doubles. Commencing take nine. Take notes. Third day of interviewing the suspect in the abduction case. Oh, there's subtitles. Plus the ghastly Thank goodness. We've obtained further evidence we'd like to ask you about. A number of trinkets have been found in a box in your attic. Woman's bracelets, rings, locks of hair. But the funny part is, they are okay, all in sets mind. of two. As if from two different people. Two of these items have been linked to high-profile murder cases. Do you have anything to say in your defense? (laughs) Are you aware a large number of explosive materials was discovered on the premises? We have a few questions to ask you about this. Can you confirm the explosive material is yours? No comment. Where did you purchase such a thing? No comment. What were you building in the attic? No comment. It's no use. End tape five. This is Detective Sergeant Allerson Abernathy and Detective Constable Steve Kowalski on secondment from the Polish National Police. Oh, they're Polish. We are conducting an interview with the suspect in the recent abduction and kidnapping case. The date is 6th of June, 1995. 
It is 3.15 p.m. This is tape one. So some of these tapes don't have like an end, like they keep playing. Do you think I should listen all the way to the end? I don't know. Please state your name for the record. I have the right one of them finished right away, but now I'm noticing that this one still hasn't finished yet. <laughs> How do I take the pencil out? Oh, never mind. Yeah, you just moved the thing. Oops. Okay, I'm listening to my second because to last. That, you Me kept too. them locked down there for four the days without food or water. It says here their walkie talkies were only tuned to each other's frequency. They couldn't call out. They had everything they needed to get out. They only needed to work together. How would you explain all the things we found down there with them? Strange contraptions, electronic devices, two walkie-talkies, and a lot of locks. Puzzles. All puzzles to solve. <laughs> End of take three. Let's pick this up later. Okay, I'm gonna listen to mine. Let's talk about your past. It says here you spent some time in Krakow a few years ago. You're wanted for crimes there too. <laughs> Excuse me? Why don't you ask your friend Steve here? I thought you looked familiar. That is why you're even here, isn't it? <sighs> Detective, calm yourself. We'll continue the interview later and tape this. <laughs> I agree. Suspect, we are arresting you for the abduction and endangerment of your sons, and we are recommending you for an assessment at the Anagram Asylum. Your days are numbered. You will be going away for a long, long time, buddy. Interview ended. 3.26 p.m. Tape 10. End. Okay, I have to. I have three more. Start tape seven. I have two hey, more. One of them is messed up, so I need to fix it. Where is your wife? I. Uh, no comment. It says here. No you... comment. No worries. We will ask your kids. You know, the ones you kept locked in your basement. No comment. How do I take the pencil out? Oh, never mind. Yeah, you just move the okay. thing. Okay, I'm listening to my second to last. Me too. But what I don't or I'm listening to the last. The walkie -talkies. If you want them to work together, you could put them in the same room. Why separate them? Answer my colleagues' questions. One cannot learn to appreciate what they have until it is taken away from them. You're speaking from experience? What was taken away from you? That's enough. Sit back down. Tape four, over. Okay. Recommencing interview, this is tape two. Our police discovered two children locked in separate parts of the basement of your home. Could you please confirm their identity? I will not. They were your own kids. How could you do that? I wanted them to work together. People these days, they don't appreciate what they've got. Okay, I'm done. Okay, um... So, we should probably look at each other's notes now, right? Yeah, I think... Let's count in order which ones we have. Do we have tape six? Mm. Mm. No. Do we have eight? We have nine, ten, five, seven... Three, four, and two. So we're missing three. What do you mean we're missing three? No, uh, I have... Mine are one, three, five... One, three, five, and... um. Oh, we have six. Nine. I think we're missing eight. I think, because purposefully, 
I am missing one. I'm out sure. Of 10. I'm sure it's eight, but it's obviously somewhere with you, since I there's no way I have it. Ah, my old plant. Mm. It also, so I think for the password on the case, since it's numbered, I feel like the first one might be either <laughs> you, three lots of wisdom there, or four. Not enough to solve. Are you sure it's not eight? Mm, like the first one, I think the number correlates with the with the um the, the images on the other side hang on slow the, down which one the one on the very left of the forensic or the, yes the now why body. Wh why do you think it's three i think it's either three or four because four because that's what's missing or three because that's what's not missing from your picture from from my picture Okay. Okay.